we can configure the properties of controls and indicators to change how the objects appear or behave. We can use the properties dialog box or the shortcut menu to configure properties. To display the properties dialog box we can right click the control or indicator and select properties from the shortcut menu. We cannot display properties dialog box while FVI runs. To display a shortcut menu, we can right click the control or indicator. So let's look at some of the options that are common to all control and indicator shortcut menus. Visible items. This menu lists the parts of an object we can choose to hide or show such as the name label. and the caption. Then we have find terminal. This highlights the block diagram terminal for the control or indicator. This menu item is useful for identifying a specific object on a complex block diagram. Change to control or change to indicator. This changes the current object to a control or indicator. Next we have description and tip. This displays a dialog box where we can enter and view object descriptions and tips for using the object. And here is our tip strip. Next we have create. It can create a local variable. A reference. property node or invoke node. To control various properties of the object programmatically. Next we have replace. 
which replaces the front panel object with a different control or indicator without losing all the editing options we apply to the object up to that point. Data Operations. This contains a sub-menu of data editing options. Reinitialize to default value. This sets the control to its default value. This is empty string in case of strings. We can also use the reinitialize to default method to reinitialize a control to its default value programmatically. make current value default makes the current value of the control as as its default value so let's now change it and if we then go and make make uh, reinitialize to default value then the default value will appear We can also use the make current default default values make current default method to set the default value of all front panel controls programmatically. Next we have cut data, copy data and paste data which cuts, copies or paste the contents of a front panel object. Because lab view saves the data we cut or copied in the clipboard, we can paste the data outside lab view. So let's open the MS Paint and let's paste it here. Let's copy it and let's Then we have advanced which contains a sub menu of advanced editing options. Synchronous display. This displays every update. We can use this feature to display animations. We can also use the synchronous display property to set this option programmatically. Then we have customize which displays the control editor window which we can use to customize 
front panel objects. Then we have height control or hide indicator which hides the front panel object from view. To access the hidden option, right click the block diagram and select show control or show indicator from the shortcut menu. And lastly, we have enabled state which determines if an object is enabled which is by default disabled or which is not visually indicative of the state and the last state is disabled and grade which is more indicative of the state of the control visually.